Hi guys, Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Thought I'd knock you out a more in-depth review. I've already done a short video on the Ontario Knife Company Old Hickory Fish and Small Game. So it's sort of their take on the cap art. So this is a really budget-friendly knife, okay? So compared to my uh, K Bar BK62, Rebecca, you could get almost six of these for one of these, okay? So comes in a box. So if you're looking for a gift, it's, it comes as a box set. So the knife is made in the USA. The sheath is made in China. Okay. So fits your hand nice, even if you've got man paws. It's 1075 high carbon steel, well, just high carbon steel. So it's a steel that's going to take some maintenance, otherwise it will go rusty. So it's a great test bed and a learning blade. Okay, so if you've got young fellas in your life that are learning camp craft and all that, look, learning to look after a knife and you know, keep it clean, oiled, it's all a part of life. Looking after your kid, okay? So it is full tang, it's quite thin. So eight and a half inches or 21.59 centimeters all along, a four inch blade, and even Capard himself said a four inch blade is really all you need, and it is about right. It's got a, a flat grind. So a flat grind will cut your potatoes, slice your bacon, it'll do light wood woodcraft really well. It won't split wood like a Scandi, but for camp crafting, it's far better. Okay, It's got a hardness of 57 to 59 HRC. So at 1075, if you're using a piece of natural flint, I couldn't get this to spark. Or if I did, you could barely notice it. Compared to 1095, which throws sparks really well. So if you're going to go flint and steel, probably not for you. So a thickness of 1.8 millimeters, that's my vernier measuring it, or 0 .0, 0 0.079 inches. Okay. So a little bit of flex to it, not a lot. 3.9 ounces on the knife, 5.6 including the sheets or 108 or 155 grams the rest of the world here so in yeah I really do like it yeah so the sheath is made of leather it does have a, a plastic insert and someone thought about putting a drain in which is really smart because a lot don't there's a little sticker in the back that says made in China I'd have liked to have seen this a complete loop it's probably done to cost so if the stitching wears through here, that's no problems. Stitching wears through down in there, you've got a real problem. That won't be an easy fix. But at this price point. Now, it will, I have given it a hard shake. It will come out if you poof it, but the retention is good enough. Especially if it's in your belt. Yeah? So, the only thing I'm a bit mean about is this little metal knob. I can see mine meeting the grinder, but I'm not too sure whether it'll affect the retention in the sheath. Okay. As it's sliding in there, I think this nub might be doing a bit more than in the way of retention. So, that could be an issue. But I think for, for this price point, you're really getting a lot. A bang for your buck, okay? Anyway guys, if that's something you're interested in, now I know the company has been closed up and someone else has, has bought the name, hopefully they'll continue making in America and it doesn't get just flipped over to China that would be disappointing. So if you're looking at an entry level camp knife or a second knife or one for the car you could do an awful lot worse than this, guys. You really could. Anyway, guys, if this content helps you out, helps you make good decisions, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.